Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm coming at you in my sewing room because today we're going to be yet again taking a pre-made cosplay and making some adjustments and adding some customizations to it. This is something that I did in my Sailor Venus video as well as in my Sophie Hatter video and you guys really like that concept and a lot of you asked me to do more videos like it so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, today's cosplay that we're going to be improving upon is this Sonya Nevermind cosplay that I got off of eBay. Overall I'd say it's not amazing but it's not terrible. It's kind of just like in the middle. There are some issues that I have with it which I will be going over and those are going to be things that I'll be looking to fix in this video and um, yeah basically I'm going to be doing things to make it better and also kind of make it my own which is something that I think is really fun to do for pre-made cosplays and I feel like making videos like these can help give you guys ideas for customizations and adjustments that you can make to your own pre-made cosplays so uh, yeah, so quickly I'm just going to go over some of the things that I didn't like about the cosplay or that I'd like to change about the cosplay and then we'll just get right into it. So like I said, overall the cosplay isn't great but it isn't terrible. The main issues that I have with it is that first of all it is very short. It barely covers my butt, um, which is not great. It does cover my butt but it just kind of does so just barely. So I'll be looking to do something to kind of help with that. The bow that comes with it is not great. It definitely needs to be replaced. It's the wrong color and it's just very floppy and doesn't really look very good or crisp. As well, the wig that I got is a little bit on the shiny side. Like it's not overly shiny, so I might not do anything about it, but it's definitely something that I'm considering at this point is to, you know, soak it in some fabric softener and make it uh, less shiny, but we'll see if I actually end up doing that. As well, the socks for this cosplay are an absolute disaster. Um, they look terrible. They don't stay up at all. They're not 100% accurate, um, which was really disappointing because one of the main reasons why I wanted to buy this cosplay was because it came with the socks and the socks looked really good in the product image, but the ones I actually ended up getting ended up being terrible. So I'll have to replace those. And then aside from that, there are just a few things that I want to do to make the cosplay more accurate. And that is mainly having to do with the belt. So the belt you'll see um, for the buckle, it just has a piece of shiny gold pleather, which isn't terrible by any means. This is definitely something that I expect from a pre-made cosplay, but I think for the sake of accuracy, it would be nice to make this an actual metal belt buckle. So that's something that I will be doing. And then um, the other thing about the belt is that canonically her belt has little, um, I don't know what you'd call them. I don't know if they're supposed to be like eyelets or buttons or what have you, but she has these little circular embellishments on her belt. So I'm going to be taking some buttons and adding those to make it more accurate. Another accuracy thing is that on her bow on um, this side here, there's a little bit of like black embroidery on it. However, all of the reference images that I could find, it's too low res to really see what the embroidery actually looks like. So that's something that I'm not actually going to be attempting to do. But if I did want to make this cosplay 100% accurate, that's something that I would obviously try and do. But like I said, I, I have no way of being able to tell what that embroidery actually looks like. So I'm just going to skip that part. So obviously to make all of these adjustments and everything, I had to go to the fabric store and get some odds and ends to actually um, adjust this cosplay. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I ended up getting. So the first thing that I got is some lace. This I plan to put on the bottom of the skirt to hopefully make it a little bit longer and I feel like it will also just add to the skirt really nicely. Then I also got this trim. I plan to also put this on the bottom of the skirt. I can't tell if I want to put it um, here, up here, or at the very bottom of the skirt. That's something that I still have to decide, but I feel like this would be a nice way of kind of adding to the cosplay, making it my own. And also I felt like this would go with the brown that's on her socks. So I took the brown fabric that I plan on using and actually brought it to the fabric store and tried to color match it with this trim. So that will kind of help tie those two pieces of the cosplay together. Uh, next I got some snaps because the belt is just held together by Velcro, which I feel is really flimsy. So I'm going to attempt because it's really hard to sew um, snaps to vinyl. I learned that the hard way when I did my Attack on Titan cosplays. So I'm going to attempt to put a couple of uh, snaps on the back of the belt to make it more secure. Then we have some thread, obviously very important. Then I also got some buttons. So the first button I got is this one that has a little lion on it. Um, there was one that had a crest, which I thought was much better, you know, for Ultimate Princess. It just, it made more sense, but they didn't have it in the right size. They just had it in smaller sizes. So I had to forego that one. So I, I instead got this nice big button that has a cool little lion on it. Um, I felt that, that was still kind of a royal looking thing. You know, it's still like a royal emblem. Um, so that I'm going to put on the dress. She has a gold button 
um, on her dress right there. But to make it kind of more my own, I thought I'd, I'd add this more intricate button on there. And then for the belt, I got these white buttons. Nothing too fancy. Um, they had so many white buttons, so it took a long time to actually figure out which ones I wanted. Um, but I felt that these ones would look nice on the belt, so I got a few of those. And then finally, I found the perfect belt buckle. So that's everything I got. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. So first I started off with the skirt. I began by pinning the lace to the skirt and then sewing it in place. And then I went ahead and did the same thing with the brown trim, pinning it on and then sewing it on. All right, so here's the dress with the trim. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It makes the skirt kind of sit weird, as you can kind of see. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I don't know. Um, I feel like I'll have to see what it looks like when I'm actually wearing it and when I put it all together, because right now the trim has nothing to match. When I have the socks with it, it will match the socks, but for right now it doesn't really match with anything, so I guess it looks a little bit out of place. Um, but anyway, that's where I'm at right now, so yeah. Then I went and sewed the new button on. This obviously doesn't really need much narration. It's pretty straightforward. Then I moved on to the belt. I began by marking on the belt where I wanted each of the buttons to go. And then I went and hand sewed them on. Here's a little look at the finished belt. Then I removed the original belt buckle. I removed it and then I went and added the new belt buckle. All right, so here's the finished belt. Um, overall, I really like how the buttons look. It turns out the belt buckle is a little bit too small for the actual belt, so it looks a little sus but it is what it is. And then in the back, I put one of the snaps on after much struggling um, hand sewing this on. It was very difficult. I needed to use a thimble, um, but I finally got it on. So it's going to be nice and secure when I wear it. So anyway, that's where we are right now. And I think next I'm going to work on the head bow. So I started by cutting out two slightly rounded rectangles out of black fabric that I had. And I did the same with a piece of interfacing as well as one long rectangle. I took the two rounded rectangles and sewed them together right sides facing each other. And I did the same thing with the long rectangle, sewing it together to make a long tube. Then I turned everything inside out and gave it a good pressing with the iron. And I added a piece of interfacing to the rounded rectangle and gave it another good pressing just to make sure that everything lay flat. Then I went and top stitched everything to make it more crisp. Then to make the bow, I took the large rectangle and squished it in the middle. And then I just sewed it down in the middle on the machine. Then I covered that with the smaller rectangle and sewed it in the back to make a bow. And here is the finished bow. Next to add the rhinestones that she has on her bow, I went ahead and took some Gorilla Glue as well as some plastic rhinestones that I got from the dollar store. And I just glued them on according to the reference image. Then I went and glue gunned a large magnet to the bottom of the bow so that I could use this bow with the Cause Band Pro. And here is the finished bow. Very nice. Next up, it was time to work on the socks. So I took a pair of over the knee black socks and I took some leftover brown fabric that I had from another project and cut out two rectangles to use as cuffs for the top of the socks. I then took that rectangular piece of fabric and zigzag stitched it on one end to make it into a large tube. I then turned that tube inside out. Then I went ahead and top stitched it using a zigzag stitch once again so that it will stretch properly when I actually go to wear it. I did this on both sides of it and then I zigzagged it all shut to make a cuff. Here's the finished cuff. Then I went and I zigzag stitched that 
to the top of the socks, making sure to properly stretch the socks as I went so that it would all fit correctly when I went to actually wear it. This is probably the most difficult part of making the socks. And this is the result. So when it's not being pulled, it looks a little weird, but then as soon as you stretch it out to the length that I'll be wearing it at, it all looks proper, if that makes sense. I hope that I'm explaining that correctly. Uh, here's a look at the final socks. Very nice, there they are. All right, so she is basically done. I decided against doing anything to the wig because I don't think it's actually too shiny. And my roommate, I, I asked them if they thought that it was too shiny and they said that it looked fine. So we're not gonna do anything to the wig. Um, so this is basically it. The last thing that I'm gonna do for this cosplay is I'm going to wear a petticoat underneath um, just so that there's more covering my butt and also just to give the skirt that nice kind of poof that her skirt has. So with that said, that's basically everything that we're gonna be doing for this cosplay. So it's time for the reveal. So here's the cosplay before. And here it is after. All right, so wrap up thoughts on this cosplay. So overall, just like with my Sophie cosplay, I don't feel like it's a huge transformation. You know, the initial cosplay versus the finished cosplay, they don't look too different in my opinion, but nonetheless, I'm very happy with the changes that I made, even if they are quite subtle. I think the trim looks really nice. I think that really adds to the cosplay and it also added some length to the cosplay. So I felt a little bit more comfortable wearing it. I think the head bow is absolutely night and day. I think the one that I made looks much better and much more accurate than the one that came with the cosplay. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm really happy that I was able to use the Cosman Pro with it. It was so awesome having the magnetized bow because it was so easy to take it on and off without having to mess up the wig. Genius. The Cosman Pro, absolutely genius and I love it. I love the button that I put on the front even though it's one of those details that you can't really even notice. Um, it's still one that I'm really really happy with because the button that I have has the same kind of black shading that the brooch in the front has so they match each other really nicely and it just kind of adds more depth to the design, even if you don't really see it. It's kind of unfortunate that the bow covers it, um, but hopefully when it does show through, you can see the difference. As well, I think the socks were a huge improvement. The ones that came with this cosplay were not good at all. <laughs> so I'm really happy that I was able to come up with a better alternative to those. Um, they aren't 100% accurate. I wasn't able to do the little box design that she has on the front just because that would have been a nightmare to do. Um, so I just settled for just having the brown cuffs and I'm super happy with that. I really don't mind that it's not 100% accurate and like I don't know, with Dang and Rumpa cosplays, people take their own artistic liberties anyway, so I feel like I can kind of get away with it. And then putting the petticoat under the skirt definitely helped add volume and helped kind of make it look better as petticoats do. So yeah, overall, like I said, not a huge transformation, but I hope that nonetheless, the changes that I made helped make this cosplay more visually appealing. It certainly helped make it more my own and I'm very happy with that. And I just felt so happy cosplaying Sonia. I feel like she is such a good fit for me. We're both preps who love creepy things. So she just, she felt very, um, she felt very comfortable for me to cosplay. I felt really comfortable. I felt really pretty. I felt really cute. I felt really confident. So that's everything that you want in a cosplay. So it was really good. Yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that watching this helped give you ideas for how you can um, customize your own pre-made cosplays and how you can alter your own pre-made cosplays. If you're new here and you'd like to see more videos like this, I certainly plan on making more videos like this in the future. So feel free to subscribe to see more. And um, yeah, thank you as always for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.